Today's going to be a bit of a fun one. We're going to make some pheasant sausage using the Leonard's pheasant mix from Weschenfelder. They sent this down to me. We've got a bundle of pheasants from last season, some fatty pork. First thing is the uh, Trespade mincer. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. We've used it many times now and it's very sturdy and robust. The good thing about this, you get to use everything of the pheasant. So all the leg, all the breast, all the offcuts. Just chuck it in there and then we're going to mix that with the pork and the seasoning to make some, hopefully, to make some excellent sausages. So I'm going to turn this machine on. It's going to get a bit noisy and then we're going to start processing it through. So we've put the pheasant through once, I like to put it through twice, and I've got fatty pork mince here from my local butcher which has been put through once. It's going to mix it all together. Have you ever seen a pheasant pre-prepared mix before? No, I haven't. Quite cool with the fact that people are catering for that market really. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you know, people don't really know what to do with them. And by utilizing not just for roasting or kind of pan frying the breasts, we can make them into delicious sausages and burgers and everything else. So the fact that this is available and easy for people at home to make, you know, all the kits here, all you have to do is go online and order it and then just keep buying the mix. And not only that, if you're, if you're adventurous with your cooking at home, you can go on from that and just tailor everything to your own taste buds. Right, let's put this cold water in with this. A bit messy now, but wow. it's might take me a few minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix this through, then when we put back through the mincer, it'll also mix it through for you as well. These sausage stuffers are fantastic. You just need to press it down at the end to compress it so there's no air pockets, and then fill it up. There we go. How good are you at the, uh, the art of sausage stuffing? We're about to find out, aren't we? <laughs> this could be quite comical. The handy thing about these stuffers is everything comes apart, so it's really, really easy to clean. So what we're going to do now, we're going to tie them up. So I'm going to just Break them into threes and tie that. Push that through. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Let's see how these tie up. I didn't realise I was going to get this for the demonstration. Well, don't count your chickens yet. Oh, first rate, guys. That's good. Over the top, and then. You don't twist them as such. You just bend them. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's different ways of doing it. But this is the, this is the way I was taught. So I'm a bit clumsy with it because it's you know I don't do it every day. So so these are now going to be hung on hooks into the in the chiller, and this will dry out. The problem is when it, when they're too wet, they'll split a lot easier. So you need the sausages to kind of go firm, and then they'll uh, be a bit more robust. So when you cook, they won't split as much. You've seen us make it. Now let's cook it. So I'm intrigued to taste this. Are you, David? Mm -hmm. I think so. So I put it in medium heat. Because it's fresh and it hasn't hung for that long, it may split, but that's fine because all we're going to do is just taste it for now. Moment of truth, David. Yeah, intrigued. Oh, that's hot. I'll cut it in the middle, okay? Mm. Looks nice, doesn't it? Smells really nice. It smells really good. Really fragrant, isn't it? Mm. Quite pleasant. It's moist enough. In a bun as well, it'd be really yeah, nice, you know? Yeah. Some onions. Yeah, well done. Mm. Good job. A good way of using pheasant, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Perfect. More? Of course. <laughs>